Hello my loves, how are you doing today? I hope that you're good, that your family and your loved ones are healthy, happy and safe. So I'm coming back to you today with another pick a card reading. And in this reading, we're going to look into the gift that the universe has prepared for you and that you are ready to receive. So you can choose one option of those three options that are laid in front of you. Uh, if you would like to pick one more or uh, pick all the three options, it really depends on the ones that you're going to be drawing uh, draw the most to. If you need more time, of course, you can just pause the video, meditate on those options and see which one or which ones are going to be today yours to watch. As for me, I'm going to start right away with the first one. Hello, my dear option number one. So if you have chosen this card, welcome guys to your reading. So what is this gift that is ready for you to receive, that is already prepared and uh, that is going to be entering your life or that is going to be given to you uh, very soon? Uh, I kept uh, in my mind that uh, when it comes to the timeline, it could be like uh, in the next 30 days. Uh, so this is really what I'm gonna uh, look into in this particular reading. So the first thing that I have heard when it comes to the card that you have chosen for your option is that the gift that is ready for you to receive is an opportunity to have fun. And it is very important, very crucial even for some of you, because I feel like for uh, quite a considerable period of time, you have been really focused on advancing on certain things that are very important to you, which is something great. But uh, when it comes to your angels and guides more specifically, they are really uh, preparing something that is going to be giving you a uh, almost like a restart to permit you to reboot <laughs> almost your system and to uh, let yourself go let yourself have fun enjoy yourself and to re-energize yourself so that you can continue on your way i really feel like for uh, many of you or, or even for all of you and let me know in the comment section down below if it is the case but I feel like you are very ambitious people, you have a plan, you are organized, and for some of you are already um, in your way to achieving the things that you have set for yourself. For some of you are already envisioning how you can achieve those things and organizing yourself so that you can get to wherever you want to go. But I really feel like when it comes to your guides, especially with this 26, 26 for me, most Personally, I feel like this number uh, is really symbolizing uh, gentleness and um, the uh, letting go of um, uh, like uh, rigidity or even um, uh, it's not a really rigidity. This is not really the word that I would like to convey to you, but uh, it's more so being very... Um, not giving it not uh, moving with care this is what I, I would like to convey to you which means that uh, you are more likely to achieve the things that you would like to achieve if you were to keep uh, a certain level of balance which means that uh, yes advancing to the best of your capabilities in the things that are very important to you and that are a priority but also scheduling and make it a priority to have some moments of uh, enjoyment and some moments where you can just take a deep breath and not really uh, like run against the clock so really this is a very important uh, phase for you because I really feel like for all of you I'm hearing that very clear for all of you there is going to be a time where uh, when everything that you are envisioning for, for yourself it's going to become your actual true re reality that you are living <laughs> and now it's the time for you not really to set your life in a way that is only about uh, achievement, but it's also about enjoying your achievements. It's also about uh, taking the time to uh, like absorb or maybe to just reflect on everything that you have uh, acquired and everything that you have achieved. So really, this is a moment for you to reflect on uh, like establishing a, a healthy balance and this is going to be taking the time that it needs because it's very important for you for the longevity I'm hearing the longevity of the plan because I really feel like for many of you or as I have said for all of you this is something that uh, you are very fixated on and something that is uh, like this is something that you're not going to be um 
letting go of you are very persistent and resilient which is absolutely amazing but again uh, some moments of relaxations are going to be permitting you to go even further this is really what your angels are uh, telling you and what they are orchestrating for you so that you can uh, for some of you that I have already like set a plan or you're already like uh, very organized and you have for each day there is something that you need to do please when it comes to as an example uh, a week plan uh, if it is uh, completely packed with the things that are needed from you, uh, reflect on integrating or planning or programming in your schedule times when uh, you have to relax. You can just relax. You can just uh, have a, a good time. So what is this uh, fun moment that your angels are orchestrating for you? I just want to get one card. No, I need to get another one from here, one from here, one from this deck, and I want to take the two from the top. All right, so let's take the first one, the sun. Light, lighten your, your load, absolutely. And you can see in here those two people, they're almost like watching uh, some sort of a spectacle. Number six here is coming back again. In here, we all, as I have said earlier, we have the number 26. Uh, number six is the number of indulgence and the number of uh, like, in, like enjoyment. This is really uh, because number six also is the uh, number of success and what i see in here is that take a moment to um almost contemplate something that is absolutely beautiful so it could be as an example an invitation to go to a concert to a spectacle to uh, even an opera for some of you that are interested in um, uh, like watching operas watching uh, like a theater piece or uh, something of the sort but let's get more messages so that we can get more clarifications on what is this all about here we have the emperor and you can see in here like it, it's definitely a spectacle or it's something like a, a concert uh, a very very fun uh outing with friends with people that you care about let's get nine of swords queen of swords ace of cups and the sun absolutely so you can see the contrast between those two a uh, couple of cards we have here the nine of swords which is like working 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 exhausting myself to the bone as you can see in here in this picture and in here we have the queen of swords which is all about someone that has a plan has a vision and they're advancing right uh, towards it and uh, they are very much determined into getting what they wanted but in here with those two cards uh, the, the angels are telling you you can get everything that you are envisioning for yourself in a much even shorter period of time if you were to uh, take a more gentle approach and this is really what i kept hearing over and over again since the beginning of your reading let's just get those cards here so that you can see everything here you go and uh, what else? Uh, I feel like also there is, could be um, an encounter in here represented by the uh, emperor. And with those two cards, um, I really feel like <laughs> this is an opportunity for you to uh, almost reaffirm that uh, you have... I'm hearing that you have changed. Oh, wow. Uh, this is a clear message uh, and I wanted to give you that because it's very important. I really feel like there might be an important encounter with someone that uh, you're going to have great interest in, but uh, you're going to realize that you have changed immensely, I'm hearing, because maybe in the past you were... Um, at each time that you have uh, connected with someone, I'm hearing in here, it could be romantically or just a great interest that someone is going to be having towards you. Uh, and it is gonna be mutual with those three cards. But I really feel like in here, uh, you're gonna realize that uh, you are not dissolving anymore. Uh, 
in someone else's interests or in uh, a new relationship. Maybe you have been uh, in this kind of uh, energy in the past. Maybe when you connected in past with someone, you would let go entirely of everything that uh, was important to you so that you could cater to this new person. But in here, I really feel like it's going to be a great opportunity to realize right in front of you that you have established great change and great improvement when it comes to how you see yourself how you see uh, your future and uh, how determined uh, you are so that you could keep um, your own stability and your own basis uh, so i'm hearing sustaining uh like uh, like uh sustaining the vision of your future independently of people that are going to be entering your life or the circumstances that are going to be changing around you which is absolutely amazing so again <laughs> just to emphasize on the gift that the universe is already it's already prepared so it could be that you're going to be getting an invitation or the uh, uh, like um, circumstances are going to be presenting themselves to you so that you can get and uh, but there's going to be a lot of fun a lot of great memories uh, if you are on social media or something like that maybe you're going to be sharing some amazing pictures or you're going to be having great pictures or great memories from this day but this is really a moment where you can breathe where you're going to have fun and just enjoy yourself so that was your reading my dear option number one i'm wishing you all the best and wishing you uh, have a great 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 fun in this amazing uh, opportunity for you to relax and to um, regenerate yourself. I'm wishing you all the best, sending you lots of love, and I will connect with you next time. Ciao! Hello, my dear option number two. So if you have chosen this card, welcome guys to your reading so uh, it was clear for me the message uh, about uh, the gift that is already prepared for you and this is going to be uh, that you're going to be receiving very soon and i kept in my mind when i was uh, like uh, meditating on the reading that the timeline is going to be around 30 days so it's not going to be far uh, like uh, ahead in the future but uh, you, this is going to be arriving soon it's already prepared and uh, be ready to receive it <laughs> I'm hearing. So uh, I'm hearing in here uh, someone is um, recognizing it, it could be a talent that you have. It could be like um, uh, your skills, your capabilities. Uh, I'm hearing poached, poached, or someone is ready to give you some key recommendation or um, introduce you to someone that is going to be changing your circumstances i'm having in a big way because number seven is a very karmic number and i know that a karma is uh, like perceived as something that is bad unfortunately but karma is uh, very connected to uh, the uh, like the energy exchange or energy exchanges uh, in this universe and when i say karmic uh, it, it's really something that uh, is inevitable <laughs> this is all that it means so which uh, in here i really feel like that this person is going to be like either messaging you or there is going to be some sort of a communication before this uh, introduction to a new entity or to a new institution or like uh, the integration to a new uh, i'm hearing to a new unity that you're going to be part of Ooh, this is this is really really important for you my dears so this is uh, what I see in here I see that uh, as an example uh, if you are a student maybe one professor is going to be approaching you telling you that um, all I talked about uh, like uh, another professor in another university that I know and maybe they have like a program that you can integrate or that you can it could be even like uh, some sort of a part-time job that is going to be offered at your university for uh, those of you of course that are students and maybe a professor or someone that uh, is work like very accustomed or maybe that knows about uh, maybe they have seen that you are a very hard worker or maybe that uh, they recognized your skills that uh, they're going to be giving you this information for some of you also that are working maybe it could be like a manager or maybe I'm hearing for some of you it could be even a client or someone that is, is not really connected uh, directly to to the hierarchy in your uh, structure or maybe in your um 
uh, like when it comes to your employment but I really feel like in here someone is going to be giving you a clue or giving you some sort of a link to a new organization or maybe a new entity that you're going to be integrating but I really feel like in here uh, when the information is gonna come um, follow up. I'm hearing follow up, a follow up. So if you're going to be getting the information, uh, like the message, uh, try to get more information or maybe try to, uh, like uh, there's going to be um, back and forth. This is really what I'm seeing. But this is an absolutely uh, key interaction that is going to be permitting you to get to a higher level uh, when it comes to of course your job for those of you that are working or to get into uh, maybe a prestigious university for some of you or to get into some sort of a training program but i really feel like something is going to be key into uh, permitting you to advance uh, significantly uh, i'm hearing for all of you this is professional this is career this is professional even for some of you as an example that are not working and not really interested in working maybe you have a hobby and uh, someone is going to be really uh, like uh, recognizing that maybe you can take it professionally or maybe you can take it to the next level because they're gonna like see your talent and uh, perceive that uh, you have uh, like a great future in the field that you are operating on or maybe in the when in the when it comes to the things that uh, you are just practicing or uh, something of the sort but I really feel like someone is going to be giving you a key message all right page of pentacles in page of pentacles it's something that is only gonna grow <laughs> mountain clarity is not something that you're gonna expect absolutely not let's just get two cards from those two tarot decks one two and in here as you can see as well number 16 that is uh, reduced to number seven so this is a very karmic um event this is going to be happening in your life again in the best way possible because this is a gift this is very positive so please guys uh, when it comes to karma um, it's not automatically <laughs> negative or positive in a way it's just like an energy exchange that is coming towards you all right all right let's look into your tarot we have here the six of uh, swords and the knight of cups we have the uh, Knight of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So we see a lot of uh, feminine figures in here. So this information could come from uh, like a woman that is going to be uh, like giving you this information or that is coming from a very maternal place, which means that this person um, is really uh, like uh, pr providing you with... Um, a very caring way so that they can help you uh, like in a very important way in your career or maybe generally uh, in your uh, like career or in your professional um, in, in your profession I'm hearing for some of you it could be even like for those of you that are uh, not uh, thinking about continuing your studies maybe some of you uh, like uh, uh, someone is going to be giving you uh, great advice or giving you even like ways through which you can continue uh, your uh, studies or maybe advance uh, to the next level even if you haven't really thought about it but I really, again, I want to emphasize on the fact that when this information is going to come to you, uh, follow up on it because it's something that uh, it's really going to be changing your life for the better. And it's not something that you're going to see coming again. It's really something that is going to come absolutely out of the blue. And I'm hearing for some of you also, and it could be even not from a person that you're not going to expect. Maybe you might be expecting someone in particular to give you an information or to give you you a leg up or to give you some sort of um, support but maybe this support is going to come from a very different uh, person or maybe through different ways or to just uh, allow you to maybe envision how you can get to whatever you want 
differently i'm hearing so in here with this clarity and this mountain as you can see in here this woman she's in a very deep sleep and in here the sun is speaking through the mountains so really if you have been uh, stagnant in some sort of a situation for those of you that maybe you have been looking on ways to, through which you can advance in your career and you feel like you have been doing the same thing or you haven't had a promotion in a very long time someone is going to be recognizing your uh, talent or maybe re recognizing uh, your skills and uh, i'm hearing also your integrity so really you are i'm hearing for some of you you might think oh i don't have skills or i don't uh, guys, uh, so, sometimes when it comes to us uh, as individuals, we see ourselves very differently from people that are uh, looking for something in particular that maybe for us it might not even be important. So it could be that for this person in particular, if they are, as an example, a client or if they are uh, even themselves if they are employer or if they have something that they can uh, give you as in a, a new position maybe they are looking for something that you are not even recognizing as important as in your uh, great sense of integrity uh, your great great teamwork maybe they have seen something that is uh, even more important that than the technical like uh, basic skills that someone can uh, portray in a CV or in a resume or anything of the sort. So really, again, just to emphasize on the gift that is coming towards you, it's uh, support through communication that is going to be significantly improving your professional life. So someone is going to come towards you, give you a message, give you an information, introduce you to someone or even offer you directly a new position in a new place or maybe uh, like it could be, as I have told you, an employer. So, and there's going to be a back and forth that is going to be allowing you to, I'm hearing for some of you, you can even reallocate. Maybe this uh, person is going to be giving you an information about a university that is abroad that is going to be permitting you to go to a new state, to a different state, to a different country. Or, or I'm hearing for some of you even across the world. So here, consider uh, things seriously. And if you have... Um, a question don't shy away from asking questions this person is really uh, recognizing that they want to help and they want not help in a way that you are needing this help but they are recognizing that you are someone with great potential when it comes to how they see you and they want to nurture your path so that you can get even higher all right so <laughs> that was your reading my dear option number two thank you for being here i'm wishing you all the best sending you lots of love and i will connect with you next time Ciao. Hello, my dear option number three. So if you have chosen this beautiful, beautiful card, welcome guys to your reading. I absolutely love this card. <laughs> and the first message right away that I have heard for you, I really feel like when it comes to you, you're going to enter a phase where a lot of people are going to be having you under their radar. All right. So, um, guys, just brace yourself. This reading is going to be uh, very deep. And um, I, really, I would like to give you all the information that I'm receiving. And I'm getting so much <laughs> already. So, the first thing that I've heard is that for some of you have recognized that you are not comfortable in social situations or uh, when, it when it comes to... Uh, receiving attention from people or getting attention from people and I'm hearing for like for uh, those of you that are uh, relating to this message you are doing something about it absolutely because the rush of energy that is coming to, towards you is uh, almost a reflection of a much important work that you are uh, doing right now uh, in, it's almost like you are uh, making yourself um, recognize the reasons why or you're taking a deeper look into why am I feeling uncomfortable from which place this is coming or uh, how or in which way I can actually do something about it and for you my dears I didn't know that <clears throat> when it comes to the other two options but uh, I want to get uh, give you <clears throat> 
an advice on how you can make yourself comfortable because I'm hearing in here, whew, I'm hearing in here you have, you know, I know that for all of you that are watching this reading, for all of you, you have a dream. You have a dream of a life, of a re reality that you feel like it's uh, far out of your reach. But, but my dear, this life that you are dreaming about, that you are envisioning, it's almost the life that is ready or that is right there, ready for you to allow it. In this life, it's gonna take, you're gonna take the time so that you can allow yourself to welcome this new reality. I, I'm hearing you are envisioning yourself in a very different way from when you have started or when you are where you are right now. But uh, the card is telling you it has nothing to do. I'm hearing it has nothing to do with the possibility of this reality to become yours. But it has more so a connection with your capability to allow it to actually emerge in your life because this you know the dream that you have in your mind it's your reality and right now you are living in a place where you are almost shielding yourself from your own reality and from your own possibilities but this is coming from a very real place from a very um, understandable place in your mind and in your heart because uh, we are not shielding ourselves uh, for no reason. There is a very specific reason why we shield ourselves and why we protect ourselves from the attention of people more particularly. And why I'm telling you that? Because I'm hearing in here you have a very effortless, natural way of attracting. Uh, I'm hearing for some people, they might perceive what you can attract as impossible. But for you, it is possible. I'm hearing, that very, I'm hearing that very clearly. It's not only about people. It's about any opportunity, any possibility. It, it's almost like I want this and then the path is traced and you move towards it very effortlessly. The only thing that is needed in here for you to reflect on is the need of protection. The need for you to overprotect yourself. And this is what we would like to look into and get some messages on how you can feel safe and protected in this way, in this, uh, towards, in your way towards uh, your own reality. The sun. Wow. I'm hearing in here. I'm hearing it wasn't right. Wow, uh, I'm hearing for some of you that, um, and and I want to be, uh, I want to just let you know that um, th this message might resonate very deeply for some of you. If you had a mother, more particularly, that attacked your light this is very wow that attacked your light you need to recognize that this was not right it wasn't right and the kindness in your heart is almost the proof that other people might recognize your light might have great respect for who you are and might allow you to shine like <laughs> brighter than the sun I'm hearing. <laughs> I'm hearing this is the first advice. The second advice, your key, your key to shining in the life in the, the the life that you are creating that you are envisioning and that is going to be your reality is to keep it to yourself i'm hearing that right now in this particular moment you know especially with this message of uh, it could be a parent a parent figure someone that has a great feminine 
uh, energy in what was very vocal in almost like um, destroying the basis of your self-esteem. I'm very sorry that I'm saying it in such blunt way, but I, I can't jump around it or maybe like circle around. This is a very direct, clear message. All right. The first advice is to recognize that it wasn't right and that this is a very particular circumstances in which the randomness of nature you have found yourself in, we don't, we're not uh, capable of choosing our parents or choosing people that uh, we are born, are born around. But in here, the key for you is to recognize that this person, it's like a sports for them. And they, I'm making the decision that they're not going to have access to anything that I'm building. They're not going to have access in information, knowing what I'm doing. For uh, some of you, it could be um, uh, like a great way to navigate this change or this transition. Uh, the method of... Um, the gray rock, if you are not familiar with it, you can just uh, Google it or look uh, into it on YouTube, is to give uh, the least amount of information possible. And I'm hearing for some of you also, even if you are in no contact with this person or you are not communicating with this person, there is a voice that in your mind that is still repeating what this person has told you or has uh, like almost affirmed when it comes to uh, like integrating certain insecurities that are not yours. I'm just giving you an example. Maybe this person, they felt unattractive and they were giving you an information or maybe conveying to you the message that you were unattractive, which was not true. This was not your message. This was their message. So I'm hearing when you have, when you hear their voice in your mind and i'm hearing just to uh let you know this voice is gonna disappear disappear this voice that you have in your mind that they have uh, almost integrated in your mind it is gonna disappear but when it comes up please relax stay calm and almost respond to this message this is not my message I know the person that is talking. This is not me. This is not my message. All right. So what is the gift that is coming towards you? Nine of Pentacles. You see the life that you are creating? It's ready. I'm hearing it's ready for you to receive. It is absolutely ready for you to receive. The only thing I really feel like with this, if you were to take the advice and to really deal with the underlying issues, this is not, your dream is not a dream. Your, your dream is a prophecy. I really, really would like you to just integrate this information in your mind. This is not a dream. This is your reality that is waiting for you to almost like ready to emerge like look at that ready to emerge wow power it's like uh and you can see in here with this imagery i hope that the camera is going to be picking up on the details when it comes to this card like behind this woman that is emerging from absolute volcano which is like chaos this person was very chaotic and it could be unfortunately and i really have a lot of empathy for them even if it's not going to be something that some of you might accept, but this person, they might even suffer from some sort of um, mental issues. They could be bipolar. They could have some sort of disorders uh, that it, they could have some issues, some mental issues that really disoriented their ways of uh, connecting to people or maybe even to perceive themselves within social settings. So in here, uh, just to go, go back to the message, uh, behind this woman, there is a phoenix, like the phoenix. And a phoenix, uh, when it's beneath the ashes, like they are still a phoenix. That's what I have, um, I wanted to convey to you. This reality or this dream that you have, 
um, it is still your reality, but it's almost like waiting for the moment to emerge and to allow yourself to be who you are in not under the rebels, not under um, like the uh, not hidden, but uh, out there in the open and to feel safe and to feel like uh, everything is going to be all right if I'm going to be permitting myself to shine the brightest. All right. Let's get to um, tarot cards. Anything else, please, about this? This gift that is coming towards you. I'm hearing sign a contract. Sign a contract. If you can, write a contract with yourself. And sign a contract with your angels, a contract of protection, a contract of safety. And I'm hearing this contract is going to be taken very seriously, very, very seriously. If you want to feel safe, if you want to feel protected, I'm hearing um, you can count on yourself, of course, count on people that are uh, around you, that love you, that care about you. But uh, I'm hearing you can also count on your angels and guides. Sign a contract with them. You can write a letter and you can sign it as in this is what I need and this is what I want and sign it at the end and see how things are going to start transforming. The last message is Ten of Wands. And the page of wands yeah <laughs> wow those two cards are uh, so significant when it comes to what we have talked about so far because it the ten of wands is the card of burden and uh, you can see in here with those two cards how uh, this it, it like it's ten ten wands ten of wands and they are reduced to just one wand which is the card of um being energized being motivated being ready to conquer the world i'm hearing so in here with those two cars they're telling you that your gift that is coming to you in the next i'm hearing the next 30 days or more particularly i'm hearing for um you my dear option number three the next moon cycle all right the next moon cycle is th that of letting go of what is not yours because I feel like certain things have attached to you that have nothing to do with you. And right now you are traveling light. I'm hearing in the next 30 days, you're going to travel light and you're going to start recognizing or seeing or just around you, like even in your social setting, uh, recognizing that there is an increasing uh, interest when it comes to people that are wanting to work with you, to connect with you, to spend time with you great great and um i'm hearing increasing interest so there is going to be a great progress in that but please take a moment i'm hearing take a moment to reflect on what is yours and what is not yours and say goodbye with all the gentleness and care that you can carry in your heart to the things that are not yours and move on in your life so that you can live the life that uh, you are envisioning because this is your true self and this is the true life that is actually meant for you to live all right wow so that was such such a powerful reading uh thank you my guys for your uh, being here i'm wishing you all the best sending you love and uh, i will see you next time ciao